I'm learning a biography is a person's history. Good morning, children. This is Miss Fury. We have been learning about history, and history is a real story about events that happened in the past. That means that they've already happened. Well, one of the people we're going to learn about today is Ruby Bridges. Let's go ahead and take a look or a picture walk of some of the events and the parts of her life. Remember, a picture walk is when we look at the pictures first. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, now that you've taken a look at the, some of those pictures, what are some of the things that you notice? The pictures are in black and white. They look like they happened a long time ago. Yep, that is all correct. Let's go ahead and read about her story. Now today we're learning about a biography, and a biography is a story about a real person in history. So a biography is about a real person in history and this person is an American hero and you're about ready to learn why as we continue to read. Now this story is a really short picture of her life. There's a lot more that happened so if you're interested make sure that you watch some of the other videos that I have posted here so that you can get a bigger picture of why she is such an amazing person. Let's go ahead and read together. Ruby Bridges was born in Tylertown, Mississippi on September 8, 1954. She is the oldest of five children, and at age four, she moved to New Orleans, Louisiana. She loved to do many things that you love to do. She loved to climb trees and play jump rope and softball. At age six, an organization called the NAACP or the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, asked her to participate in the integration of the New Orleans school system. Up until this point, schools had either all white children or all black children, and the schools with all white children had more things and better education. Even though it was unfair for people to be separated because of the color of their skin, some people did not want Ruby Bridges to go to their school. They were unkind in many ways. Ruby Bridges started first grade at age six at a school called William France Elementary School. She was the only African-American child in the school and the only student that was in her classroom. She was very brave and showed a lot of courage. Ruby's mom wanted her to have the same education and things that children in all white schools had. Although it was hard, Ruby continued to go to school every day. United States Marshals made sure she got to school safely. Ruby's teacher's name was Barbara Henry. Ruby said she was nervous about meeting a white teacher, but she also said she was the nicest teacher she ever had. The reason why schools are now integrated, where black and white students can attend school together, is because of the steps heroes like Ruby Bridges took. Today, restaurants, drinking fountains, buses, bathrooms can all be used by both white and black people. Segregation is now illegal or not allowed because of brave little girls like Ruby Bridges and people willing to partner with them for what was wrong like Barbara Henry. You might be wondering where Ruby Bridges is now. Well, as of 2020, Ruby Bridges is 65 years old, and Barbara Henry, her teacher, is 88 years old. The painting made by Norman Rockwell highlighting how hard it was for Ruby and how wrong it was for segregation to be happening is now displayed outside the Oval Office in the White House. You can see Ruby Bridges all grown up looking at the painting with then-President Barack Obama. 
And here's another picture of her looking at that same painting with her teacher, Barbara Henry, when she's all grown up. So remember, no matter what age you are, you can make a difference. So boys and girls, did you learn about why Ruby Bridges is one of my most favorite American heroes? She was able to make a difference, even though she was very little. She could have been your age. Kindergarten and first grade? That's a pretty big difference you can make in the life of other people, and it had a lasting impact. Because of the things that she did and how brave she was, history is forever changed and changed for the better. Ruby Bridges is now an activist. That means she stands up for things that are not right. And boys and girls, you can do the same thing too. All right, boys and girls, make sure to watch some of the other videos to learn about Ruby Bridges and some of the most amazing American heroes that we have. But Ruby Bridges is by far my favorite because she made such a big impact at such a young age. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and I will talk to you soon.